Well, good day, tubes. How's she hanging? Pretty good here. Pretty good here. Nice day out there. Sunny, nice blue sky. All that stuff. So, uh, busy day here though because I got three funerals. I've already done uh, one of three. I'm waiting for two and three basically to come in about the same time today. So, uh, just a quick little something here. I wanted to uh, pull apart this old uh, Fire GL graphics card. This is the uh, video card that came in uh, Dilly's computer. We got it. We got him a used computer, and everything was good in the computer except this. Uh, this is like a 14, 15 year old video card, basically. And I guess back in that vintage, all they uh, ran was uh, where is it here? 500, 512 megabyte <laughs> Fire GL. Uh, good card in its day I guess you know maybe for running like Doom 2 or something but uh, or uh, you know way back but uh, she definitely doesn't run a GTA 5 kind of thing so just uh, probably wouldn't I don't know what processor is really in it but if you looked up the specs I guess you would know but um, uh, I kind of more myself go mostly with how much RAMs in something you know it's probably not the right way to do it but uh, that's sort of what I go by anywho so uh, let's get you on, oh geez, a little tripod thingy here. And uh, we'll just do, I want to see what's in it that's so friggin' heavy. It's it's like, should have brought my scale down. Maybe I'll run up and grab it. Got a little scale at the house for like measuring envelopes and stuff. And uh, you could measure that and see how much how much it is. So maybe I'll pop up and grab that. We'll start taking it apart. And see there's big metal things, right? Heat sink things. It looks like a big one under there too, so. That's pretty sweet. It's a pretty, pretty sweet looking card though, eh? Like it's, that's pretty awesome, but just not for gaming nowadays, that's for sure. <laughs> Fire GL, sweet. Okay, so a little scale. This looks like it's, I'm gonna use this thing for a while, so it'll do ounces, grams, pounds, kilograms as well. So let's just throw the whole card on here first, see what the whole thing weighs. One pound. 6.4 ounces, I guess it is. Or grams is 635. <laughs> That's a heavy card. So one pound, 6.4 ounce. Interesting. Okay. Let's uh, put this aside. This is just for fun. Weigh my my impact gun here. Four pounds, 7.8 ounce. Interesting. It's heavy. Oh, ooh, battery. Four pounds. Huh. My gun's heavier than that. Four three point eight. Yeah. My my gun's heavier. That's funny. It's pretty good sensitive scale. Like you know, even this little mount here. Let's see what it weighs. Point zero six of an ounce or. Grams 20, 20, 15, 15, 20. I guess it goes up by fives. <laughs> it's not very accurate that way. Hmm. Uh, what else have I got? Piece of paper. Yeah, I won't even register in that. So, piece of paper apparently doesn't weigh anything. Okay. What if that paper is crumpled up? No, nope, still nothing. But, anyways, okay. Um, let's just put this guy aside here for a minute. And let's do a little dissection on the Fire GL here. I want to see what's so bloody heavy in it. I imagine it's probably the heat sink stuff, so. Okay, how's this have to come apart here? It looks like... These bottom four, that's probably the main processor in there. Or GMU, whatever they call that. So it looks like there's one, two, it looks like there's four little e screws that have to come out here. Oh, I'm gonna need a smaller guy. My little precision set out today. The only thing I generally use a little precision set for, well, is stuff like this. Or, what was it now? One uh, five millimeter, no, 
three and a half millimeter hex. I'll show. There's a little springs under this even. Three and a half millimeter hex. This little guy for adjusting the carburetors on the weed whackers. That's what they run now. So I uh, when I got that new weed whacker a while back there, well, through two years ago I guess now. It, uh, I went to just, it wasn't running quite right, so I went to adjust it, I'm like, uh, I guess my little slotted thing's not going to work no more <laughs> on that, so I had to investigate and find out what it was, and I'm like, oh, you know what, I got a kit for my RC stuff way back, and I bet you it'll probably have one of those, sure enough, three and a half millimeter, little hex guy. So, I don't know exactly what is with this thing and all the, this little apparatus, I guess it must put a little spring down on it or something. There's little springs built into that, so that's kind of cool. Let's just fire up the scale, we can keep both things in the shot here. Let's see, uh, oh, 0 0.2 ounces. So that's not very heavy. Um, okay, so, oh, there we go, that thing's off. <laughs> that's all that holds the whole fan system on, I guess. So that was work. that was cool. Okay, so there's a little connection here. I'm just going to plop it off. Maybe, unless it's one of those ones that's permanently on. Trying to hold the plug, but you know what? There's not much to grab to. So there's quite a heat sink here. I don't know if that's the memory under that. Or if these things are the memory chips. Or the memory chips under this one. There's lots of little heat sinks here. So even these are heavy enough, but this thing seems really heavy. There you can see the thermal paste. They will when this was new there, they would put a blob of thermal paste on the top of that. It's, it's not like a glue, it's like a greasy kind of sort of stuff. And uh, when they put that together, that keeps a good solid contact between the heat sink and the CPU chip thingy here. So, um, I should grab a little towel or something here and just give this a wipe because it looked like there was something underneath. Oh yeah, see it's still, still kind of greasy. It's like a paste. I'm not going to ever use this card again, but I just wanted to see. Look at. Look at how mirror shiny that is under there. Ooh, that's nice. That is so pretty. Taiwan and ATI Fire GL graphics. <laughs> okay, so yes, this part here is still quite heavy on its own. We have 13.6 ounces. Or 385 grams. Well, even that just adds her up pretty good. Okay, so uh, that's I think these these bigger ones. Uh, yeah, I might be able to get away with the bigger screw too. Either one, I guess. So. This is the big heat sink. All the heat gets transferred through the thermal paste into this thing. And this stuff should be kind of... It's a little dried out now. I guess it's 14 years old, so I'm amazed it's not just all cracked and falling apart. So we'll just pop this heat sink out of here and ugh. it's kind of a cool it's like a blower system for the fan on this and I guess it blows the air through oh, it counts lots of screws here Let's speed this up blows the air through sucks it on the top and blows her out the bottom there and then through the heat sink so that's probably one thing you'd really have to make sure that you kept clean or it would uh, bung up and uh, stop stop kind of working you probably noticed that the game your game you were playing whatever was getting kind of junk junky and jumpy and stuff well she's well bolted down okay let's see 
So yeah, this, uh, there you can see in here, it's uh, pretty cool. I can really see why, holy jeez, that thing's heavy. You can see why you'd want to keep that clean, eh? So you can see through, if that was all bunged up with crap. There's no weight to this thing at all. So wow, this thing's heavy for what it is. I think it's copper too. Sweet if it was gold. <laughs> so let's fire up the old scale here again and we'll do ounces. Wow, 8.2 ounces. So if that was gold, that would be, uh, well, I don't exactly know what the price of gold is as of right now, but we'll say it's, we'll give it a rough, rough to admit that it was 1600 per ounce times 8.2. Be thirteen thousand one hundred and twenty dollars worth of gold. <laughs> this was gold. <laughs> Holy jeez, eh? That's pretty sweet. So five point four ounces, even just for this thing. The fan and there's a little bit of a motor in there and stuff, and it's pretty sweet. So that's uh. I wonder how a fan like that works, but I guess it's kind of like waving as it goes by. So it's sucking air here, and it's kind of waving it through the, you know the through the heat sink thing here, so, and this, uh, yeah, 5.4, 5.4 ounces, I'll do both for you, 150 grams, and this one was uh, 8.6, oh, now we're only 8, 8.2, we'll say, ounces and 230 grams, now there's probably, little bit of weight left in this paste on here too so we should, uh, should test that too so so maybe we'll do it in grams because it's a little bit more precise so 230 wait the thermos kind of gone a little hard so wait 30 230 oh it's pretty much the same 230. Yeah, okay, that didn't do anything. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that, that weighs quite a bit. That's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure it's all copper. I don't know if it's, I guess it's supposed to have a, a bend in them like that too. They look fine up top, but if you look at the side, it's kind of bent one way. They're all even, so I guess that's right. Now this one, I don't know uh, what else to pull apart on this thing. Um, looks like this is screwed down too. So there's, what is there? One, two, one, two, three screws holding this. That looks like it's going to be the bigger one. Try not to damage this thing, so I wouldn't, you know, mind put it back together after. Even though you wouldn't be able to use it unless you, unless you re uh, pasted it. You would have to re thermo paste it. I think just this one. So, this, I don't know how long they've been out, but uh, this one would have been a two slot, like in the back of your computer. You'd have to punch out two slots. Uh, when I first seen them coming, I'm like, oh, that's sweet. That, that's sweet. I was trying to say cool and sweet. That's sweet. <laughs> you need two slots for it. One's for the air, actually, only, and the other one's for your. It doesn't even have like, I, you guys might be able to know what slot that is, but it's not a HDMI thing. And that's, oh man, I forgot all my plugs now, but I know that's like the DVI or whatever it was, whatever it was called. So you can tell how old it is and <laughs> she's going back a fair bit. So I don't know if these things are glued down too. We'll give her a little, a little pry maybe. Let's see what else I got here I can pry with. It doesn't, well, maybe it actually looks like they're adhered to some kind of pad thing under there or something. Oh, no. Maybe they're going to come off. They might be thermal pasted too, I don't know. Weird, that's a weird stuff under there. It's like gummy almost. Huh. 
It's like a sheet of gum. <laughs> I guess that transfers the heat nice, so that's a pretty sweet little if you got a, you know, an L or something. <laughs> so let's see how much does this guy weigh? 1.6 ounce, 1.4 ounce. So that'd be uh, 1.4 times say 1600 an ounce, $2,240 if this was gold, <laughs> just for this thing. That's crazy. And yeah, these things are, uh, this goo under here is kind of weird. I'll try to get one cleaned off of here and see if it, what it says. Samsung. And then just a bunch of numbers. Let's get you a zoom. Maybe we can see better with the camera than I can with my old eyes here. show too much. Samsung, whatever it is. <laughs> oh, Jesus, just dropped my screwdriver. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't know uh, what they are, but I'm thinking they're probably the RAM chips. I would think. <laughs> this stuff is like, spreads like butter. It's weird. It's like pizza dough. <laughs> I guess they're a thermal paste stripper or something. I don't. I don't know. It's kind of cool. So I don't think we can actually get the chip out of here though. That looks like she's yeah. It's well, well gooed down there. Wouldn't mind doing some close-up after of this circuitry on this. It's so cool. I remember too, and I can't remember what computer it was now, but um, I had uh, bought parts to put a new computer together. This is going back a long time now. And the motherboard come with the red like this, because it's always traditionally been the green, right? green stuff and I'm like oh this is so freaking cool looking <laughs> it was kind of cool looking and so that's going back though that's about 12 computers ago maybe I, I don't even remember how long ago it was this looks like it's got that same pasty stuff under it oh those could be the little ram chips I don't know hmm. cool little thing too how much does it weigh I'll leave the goop on this one. So not quite half an ounce. Super! Well, yeah, I don't know if these are RAM chips. Of course, it doesn't tell you nothing on it, right? You would have to look at the schematics, I guess, of when they designed it. Pretty sweet, though. I love this kind of old technology. You know, it's honestly really hasn't changed much a little bit higher transistors I guess it is in the processing stuff and then a little more RAM chips on the whatever and you know the cards pretty much the exact same but all the little all the little lines here you know for all the circuitry it's this technically each one of these little wee things would have been a wire way back you know now it's just this little wee tiny thing that's drawn onto it, or whatever it is, it's a little, sh little piece of metal, I guess. But, you know, they're going from these little, from the actual computer, into here, and up to here, and here, and then into the transistor, and then it's going from here, I guess, all the way out to whatever it needs, you know, like, there's so much stuff on here, like, that's obviously the main brain. I'm not sure if these are RAM chips or what. Or if these were the RAM chips, I'm not sure what I'm not sure what these things are here, or these three things here. There's a lot of things I don't know what they are. Some some of you electronic guys probably would, but you know, there's even circuitry here to from I think this thing. Uh, yeah, this thing actually got power off the motherboard too. Here it runs power to run the fan, so this would kind of go here somewhere and then out to this little plug that went into the fan so 
And this bigger plug over here. I can't remember what that was for now. But, you know, the more we look at this, geez, the more you see, there's little wee guys even right here. These little guys, let's get you in a bit closer here. Hang on a sec here. So I mean there's there's so much so much tiny things here, you know, like like what are these little guys here? What do they do? What's their purpose? You know, one of these little thing fries, psh, then your card screws up or something, you know. There's um like positive something here. Little wee thing there too. These little guys like mama bear, baby bear, papa bear, mama bear, baby bear. These little guys like holy jumping. Then you can see all the, the lines, which, you know, each one of these little guys would have been a wire at one time, right? So there's, basically it's, well, these ones go up here. These ones go all the way up here and around and then into this chip and then I don't know if it's going in, I don't know which way it's going where, but that's pretty freaking cool. You know, even these little guys, what the heck are these things? They're tiny. They're so small, I can hardly get them into the shot. Like, what the heck? Look at the size of my screwdriver compared to them. And this is just a little wee tiny screwdriver. All these little things that are soldered down here. Like, I guess all these numbers mean something. R303, 304, 305, you know, 308, 306, like a whole bunch of numbers. It's pretty awesome. There's a bigger monster chip, but it's still tiny, you know, it's not very big. And there's chips up here and stuff. All kinds of stuff. Wow. And down here there's a bunch of tiny little ones. <laughs> It'd be nice to know kind of what they were all for, but I I have no clue. Look at the size of this little guy. Holy jeez. Just puny, puny, puny. I don't have a good enough macro on this thing to show you. The everything but holy jumping I'll tell you what that's a lot of freaking technology all crammed there's even chips on this side like holy jumping the more you look the more you see like there's freaking tiny tiny and then all these little maybe these are the transistor things for I don't know the transistor things for the CPU on this thing look at them all it's like a little freaking village you know and these are like buildings and this is like a roadway you know kind of thing so pretty awesome but complies with Canadian Ooh. Huh. tiny printing on it and stuff and holy jumping I'm sure there was a date of manufacture on here in one of these code numbers Somewhere like this here says bypass EXT bypass CFT. Huh, that's pretty awesome. I just love looking at this stuff because the more you look, I say, like I say, the more you see. Install, install, don't install R1, R2. Huh, that's just insane. These are like all the numbers back here. I guess if, like I say, if you looked at the schematic of when they did this, you would see what was what. But man, there's so many small pieces. It must be all computer put together too. Because I, I have no idea how a human hand or anything could do like these little things here. That's just freaking tiny. But uh, anyways. Well, I guess I'll put her back together. I won't, I won't probably film that unless you want to see high speed maybe putting her back together here. Let's do that maybe.
here we go. We're all set to go, except I didn't plug the plug back in. But, uh, yeah, you'd have to re-thermal paste that. But I'll never use this one again, so I just thought it'd be kind of cool to tear apart and have a look at. I bet you that card, when it first came out, was probably well over a grand. <laughs> a thousand bucks for that, probably. Now it's worth about twelve dollars, maybe, at the most. <laughs> Should I actually look one up? Let's look one up here, just for fun. Ah, uh, the closest thing I could find, I don't know why, it's got this weird tray must for sliding in or something. Fifty bucks! For a freaking 14, 15 year old video card. That's just insane. Probably won't get that for it, but I'm just uh, looking it up for fun. There's one 35 bucks. There's a weird tray thing on it though. What the heck is that? Must be for mounting in something else. I don't know. Quite surprised that they're. Holy cow, there's one there for 78 bucks. The thing's only got 512 mega RAM. It wouldn't run freaking Windows barely. Yeah, that's it right there. 58 bucks they want for it. <laughs> Why? There are some different ones too. Like there's this one here. I don't know what uh, uh, Fire GL V7700. So this one's actually a smaller card and it's 20 bucks for this one. I should look that up maybe. Let's get those cards. V7700. Oh, 7700. Search. 67, 47, $78. Really? That sounds more like it there, like $27 to me. Holy. Who would pay like almost $100 for this card? But I guess they're still around. You know, it wouldn't run too much. <laughs> oh, like I say, Windows maybe. Hmm. I don't know. Interesting though. Worth about 50 bucks. Okay, that's it for today. Man, that was a long frig of a day. <laughs> Not too often I get three burials in one day. And uh, this just happened to be one of those days. So that kind of really sucked. Oh man, but anyways, we are done and I'm going home. <laughs> so this has been a busy week. Holy cow, I've lost count of how many, how many digs I've done. I've had my cremation, uh, so the mini X in the trailer road, I think four times this week. And then uh, one for the big trailer for full size today as well. So, holy crap. <laughs> And next week we'll start it all again. <laughs> you know, I got another... I'm, I'm booked up for like the next... Like... Four or five Saturdays in a row now. Like I... You know, whatever. But... <sighs> people... People don't want to take the time off work. To come and do a burial now. Which is, you know... They don't want to lose the money off their job, right? Which is kind of stupid. That should be something that should be... You know, you get three days off. Morning days. That would probably include the funeral stuff too, or whatever, you know, and you get paid for it. They don't seem to do that, so people are taking, not taking uh, time off through the week and they're doing everything on weekends, so. But anyways, it's the way she works, so. I'm gonna head her out. Thanks again for watching. It's been a busy, busy week, so I haven't had much time for doing farm sim stuff or playing any kind of games, actually, so. But anyways, thanks again. We'll catch you all later. I couldn't tell you when, you never know. And have a good uh, rest of your weekend. This is actually a long weekend here. So that's kind of cool. And uh, I got a burial Monday anyways. Monday's the holiday day, but I got a burial to do Monday and it's actually okay. Be Normally I would have said to the people, no, 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 it's a holiday, we don't do that. Um, but it's for my uncle, so I'm like, oh, maybe I'll do that. So he passed away uh, the winter time, winter time there? Hi! <laughs> and uh, we're gonna do his burial on Monday just cremated remains so but anyways thanks again for watching catch you all later and have a good night oh my lady said she wanted to go for a little tour tonight so I thought well maybe I'll get this open and we'll show you the the new parts so this whole piece this huge thick cast piece here 
that's like an axle and everything goes all the way up through connects on the up in here you can see the other side there they had to replace that whole entire piece that was one of the recalls so he had to do all these looks like they had to re-bleed brakes and everything I wish they would have kind of cleaned that off with some brake cleaner I don't have to do that I guess I can just see that because it looks wet there right so uh, he had to do the brake system too right so that'd be why but they should have sprayed that down it needs a good wash anyways it's pretty dirty it gets really dirty back here it's hard to keep it clean so uh, I presume that they've retentioned the belt correctly this belt actually is extraordinarily expensive <laughs> for some reason and they actually have to use uh, sonic I think it's called a sonic tuning something or another but basically they put this device beside it and they go boing and it listens to that oh not tight enough oh too tight you know the tighter goes the higher would be right so uh, what else did they do so the brakes there was something that they over torqued in assembly way back when they built this I guess I can pull it out here maybe mm. you just let it roll out but that's kind of dangerous maybe we'll just jump in here so they over torqued something And uh, it damages a seal. So now we got lots of brake, which is good. Before you'd have to push or double tap, get a bit of pressure up, and then you'd have like normal brakes. And now it's good all the time, hopefully. Can't feel anything with my big boots on. I usually wear my shoes. I just want to flip up the hood there, show you the hood stuff. Yeah, so we got nice brakes now. I'll leave it running for a minute. Yeah, so Dill and I went down to the dealership the other day there. I didn't zero the thing out, but we only used uh, like half a tank of fuel. I freaking couldn't believe it. It's like an hour and a half, one way. Like, it's pretty good. Anyway. Mm. Oh, does it ever need a wash? Oh, wow. It got, a bit, it got a bit dirty in there through the winter, too. I couldn't believe it because it was sealed up, you know. So I asked him about the latches for the hood. These things here, they sometimes don't seem to grab. He's like, no, they're all like that. Just when it starts to go down, just let it go. Boom. So in the brakes, I don't know where, if it was in the pedal or what or where or what. Or what? I don't know where he put a new seal in, but it's fixed it anyways. That's the brakes um, reservoir there. Um, there's all the recall stickers. So he's done all these service bullets and things. So, so that's good. Put those on there. I don't know. I guess those will stay on there. I figured they'd wipe off, but I asked him about this ticking too. And you can hear it a lot more once you're going, about 2,000-ish RPM. He's like, no, nope, don't worry about that. There's nothing we can do about it because it's all hydraulic, hydraulic lifters in it. So I'm like, really? Really, bud? Really? And he's like, no, nothing we can do about it. So, one thing, where is it? Oh, I see, there's one up there. Over on the other side here. One thing I gotta, I gotta change. I got a change on this thing. And that's this pathetic horn. Where's the other one? There must be two of them somewhere. The horn is so pathetic on this thing. It just sounds so stupid. Ready? Here we go. Sounds so dumb. It sounds even worse with a hood down. It just sounds like something from a cartoon. I don't like it. So I don't know what I'm going to put into it. But anyways. So uh, yeah, this one guy, the brand new machine that was down there, he was uh, buying this brand new one down at the dealership there and he was putting in the turbo kit at $7,000 for the turbo kit. And uh, you know what I said to the sales guy, I'm like, how much do you think you need to spin this rear tire? I mean, this thing now, stock as it is, spins in third gear. Why do you need more? 
But I think the only thing I can think of is going up hills. It would kind of help with that a little bit. And it would sound cool. See, that ticking almost sounds like fuel injectors too, but I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, um, what else did I ask him about steering these rods? It's not this side, it's the other side. You can hear it when you're driving, bang, 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 bang on certain bumps, you know? So, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't, so I don't know. He's like, oh no, shouldn't be anything wrong with that either. I'm like, okay, <laughs> I crash and die, I'm blaming you, bud. So, anyways, so I'll leave that up a minute. I gotta, I gotta do something about the windshield at least, but I don't uh, have my pressure washer here right now to wash the rest off. You can just let her dry. It's pretty sweet. So uh, I'm gonna wash this window though. So he just lets it go, let her go. Bang, I guess that's locked. Should be, holy geez. Freaking smashing down like that, it better be locked, so yeah. All right, well, she's a little cleaner in the windshield anyways. The whole thing needs a good bath, but a good total soak down, soap it maybe, and uh, rinse it off. She should be good. It's hard though with all these bugs in, in here though. I'm trying to keep the bugs off. Holy freak, look at this mess here. A wet her towel here. Jeez. Pretty much hard to keep up to, to keep all the bugs off it, but uh, anyways, look all down here. Oh yeah, you gotta let them soak for a while, pour the stuff on and let it soak. But anyways, there we go. More bugs flying around. So I'm gonna hit it right now. You guys have a good one. Thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you later. <laughs>